whether you are asleep or awake tired or active motivated or depressed your brain is always producing brain waves but what are they so brain waves are the patterns of electrical activity which are generated inside the brain by the communication of neuron these brain waves can be recorded and measured using eeg or electroencephalography using this you can measure the electrical activity of the brain either by placing the electrodes on the scalp non invasively or using electrodes placed inside the scalp by a neurosurgeon which is highly invasive usually devices that can record eeg are very expensive and that's why we have developed bioamp eeg pill with a name to make neuroscience affordable and accessible to all it is a single channel publication grade biopotential amplifier that can not only record eeg but other biopotential signals as well be it ecg eog or emg but more on that sometime later so basically there are five types of brain waves that occur at different stages of the brain activity we'll discuss each one of them one by one let's start with delta waves which occur at 0.2 hertz to 3 hertz so basically delta waves are very low frequency brain waves that occur in very deep but dreamless sleep essentially the body is taking advantage of this low activity to reset and prepare for the coming day so high levels of delta waves are associated with learning difficulties inability to think whereas low levels are associated with poor sleep feeling tired after waking up inability to rejuvenate the body inability to revitalize the brain whereas the optimal level of delta waves are associated with healthy immune system more restful sleep so you wake up refreshed after that we have theta waves which occur between 3 to 8 hertz these are very low frequency brain waves which occur during light sleep and rem sleep these can also be present during extreme relaxation or when you are in suggestible hypnotic state in this state you are more susceptible to hypnosis and associated therapies also the transition when you are engaging with your surroundings with the senses to just focusing on inner body sensations is also tied to increased theta wave production high levels of theta waves are associated with hyperactivity depressive states or inattentiveness whereas low levels are associated with anxiety symptoms poor emotional awareness high stress levels whereas the optimal level correspond to memory consolidation while you are asleep maximum creativity deep emotional connection with oneself and others great intuition and relaxation then comes alpha waves which occur between the frequency of 8 to 12 hertz this is basically a frequency bridge between conscious thinking and subconscious mind they are observed when not much information processing is required most often these waves are produced when you are about to sleep or you are waking up in the morning interestingly the moment a person closes its eyes the brain is about to produce more alpha waves this can be tied to change in light exposure of the brain through the eyes which also explains why we tend to sleep when the sun goes down we actually conducted this experiment using bioamp eeg pill let's look at it now eyes closed as you can see we are getting a clean tan hertz So high levels of alpha waves correspond to too much daydreaming, over relaxed state or an inability to focus. Whereas low level correspond to OCD, anxiety symptoms, high stress levels, but the optimum range correspond to ideal relaxation. The fourth type of brain waves is beta waves which occur between 12 hertz to 30 hertz. These wave indicate normal activity in the brain when we are conscious and alert. So if you are attentively watching this video right now you are most likely producing beta wave. Most of our lives we spend in this type of brain wave and this is why most of the mental illnesses are associated with beta wave. They are observed during conscious states such as cognitive reasoning, thinking, speaking, calculation and reading. Beta wave can be increased by drinking common stimulants such as caffeine. You can think of beta as get shit done state of mind. High level of beta waves are associated with inability to feel relaxed, high adrenaline levels, insomnia or feeling overwhelmed. Whereas low levels of beta waves correspond to depression, ADHD, poor cognitive ability and lack of attention. 
and when the beta waves are in optimum range it correspond to consistent focus strong memory recall high problem solving ability the last and fifth type of brain wave is gamma wave which occur from 25 hertz and above gamma waves are a more recent discovery in the field of neuroscience thus the understanding of how they function is constantly evolving to date it is known that gamma waves are associated with complex tasks in addition to healthy cognitive function like formation of ideas language and memory processing and various types of learning gamma wave can also be observed in very highly concentrated states of meditation and this is why many people experience their mind expanding while meditate high level of gamma waves correspond to anxiety stress whereas low level correspond to depression adhd and learning issues but when gamma waves are in optimum range it correspond to information processing cognition learning that's all for today let us know which topic we should cover next in the comment section below and we'll try to make a complete video on it Stay tuned and subscribe to Upside Down Labs for more videos like this.